Hello, yes, please, please. Hello, officer, I want to report a robbery. Yeah, I ordered a Chinese from the Golden Moon and they forgot to send me a can of Coke. I called them and they said that they were going to send another one, but that's an hour ago. Well, yeah, I consider it an emergency. I'm gasping here. That idiot on the day shift stolen the last of my flicking tea bags. Hello? <laughs> Barry Pigeon here, Chief Nocturnal Security Officer at Pickens Industrial Estate in Chorley. <laughs> We've got everything here. We've got a carpet warehouse, a wine stockist, a sweet shop. Uh, not a sweet shop, one of them places where kiddies make trainers. Uh, this is the uh, nerve centre of the estate, my pigeon's nest, if you will. It's not much, it's basically a shed with a telly and a kettle, but it keeps the cold and the wet at bay, mostly. <laughs> I've been happily married to my wife, Anne, for six years. We've been married for 31. Don't you hate it when that happens? You don't get many kids called Gareth these days, do you? Last Gareth I knew lived two streets away from me when I were a kid. His mum were from Wolverhampton, so we used to hear her shouting to him in this horrible accent because he was out in the garden eating soil or something. I don't know if it were listening to her that made him thick or if he were always thick. Funny thing was, his dad was the cleverest man in Burnley. He were a genius. It must have been listening to her that made him thick. He had big sticky out ears. And his last name were Hourcroft, so all kids used to call him Gareth Hovercraft. <laughs> you don't get as many in a bag as you used to, do you? Bloody hell, I was so bored earlier, I felt compelled to do some work. They sod all, I tell you, this hour and it's all repeats. Ah, TV's changed a lot since I were a lad. There's too many channels and they're all full of crap. What really gets me are these programmes about people just swanning about doing sod all. They, they go to parties and they chat shit and they get paid for it. I'd love that. Me and Anne applied to be on one last year. There's no place like corn. But we never heard hope back. I told her, who wants to see you sat on your fat ass spouting bollocks? We're back, and you're listening to Rapid 106.7. I'm Eugene Savage, and like every night, this is your opportunity to voice your opinion. And our first caller tonight is Barry from Chorley. Barry, what are your thoughts, my love? Evening, Eugene. I've been on my rounds and bumped into Stanislav, one of the night shift cleaners. Romanian he is. Now, people say that Romans and Norwegians are coming over and sitting on their asses, claiming benefits and sending the money home to build the villages up. But I'll tell you what, it's a load of bollocks. Oh, whoa, whoa, sorry, Barry, you know the rules about swearing. Now, come on. I'm sorry, but I I've just watched him mopping the carpet for the last ten minutes. I've not got a flicking clue why he was doing it, but he was sweating buckets. So, uh, whoa, what are you saying, Barry, if I'm right in thinking this, is that... You think migrants should be welcome as long as they're willing to work. Is that right? Oh, I just wanted to know if anyone else mops the carpet. But whilst we're on the topic, I don't care where they come from. As long as they speak the language, they're willing to work and leave my flicking tea bags alone. Well, thanks for calling, Barry. Nice talking to you. This morning I got a bacon balm from one of the butty vans that comes around. 
Elle's Kitchen, it were called, on account of the woman that drives it. It's called Ellen. I normally get a, a sausage balm with brown sauce, and she charges me two pounds. They're pretty poor, but the brown sauce masks the taste. But this morning I fancied something different, so I got a bacon balm with red sauce. Well, it only had two rashers on it. Two rashers! And she had the cheek to charge me two pounds. When you get a sausage balm, you get three sausages on it. And she had the cheek to charge me the same price. Rip off Britain. So, Donna, how do you think you've done? Well, uh, hopefully I've, I've done well. Well, let me tell you. You've done terrifically. Have I? You've lost a whopping two and a half stone. Seriously? I've been so hungry. So now your weight is 17 stone and three pounds. Oh, my God. Fat uh, bitch. And? Yeah? You've lost eight and a half inches from your tummy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs>